Detroit. What up, though? So, look, I wrote down a few things I wanted to say. I love you, too. Thank you. I'm here tonight for a couple of important reasons. As most of you know, the city of Detroit and the whole state of Michigan mean a lot to me. And going into this election, the spotlight is on us more than ever, and I think it's important to use your voice. So I'm encouraging everybody to get out and vote, please. I also think that people shouldn't be afraid to express their opinions. And I don't think anyone wants an America where people are worried about retribution or what people will do if you make your opinion known. I think Vice President Harris supports a future for this country where these freedoms and many others will be protected and upheld. And here to tell you much more about that, President Barack Obama. stamina to run for president. It takes stamina to be president. And Donald Trump does not have stamina. He has been, he has been rambling more than the normal rambling. Everything about this guy is fake. Everything he does is fake. Next, next, he's going to be telling you he's a cop or a construction worker because he dances to the village people, so he knows it's YMCA. And I'll tell you this, though, that five minutes he stood next to the deep fryer, I'll guarantee you that's the hardest that guy's ever worked in his life. And that's not a joke. But look, I'm not going to waste all the time I'm in. I'm going to talk about his running mate. His running mate, Elon Musk. Um, <laughs> seriously. Seriously. Where is Senator Vance after he got asked the simplest question in the world at the debate, did Donald Trump lose the 2020 election? And after two weeks, he finally said, no, he didn't. That's where he's been spending his time. But uh, that's it. So look, Elon's on that stage, jumping around, skipping like a dipshit on these things. <laughs> You know it. We know this election is going to be tight. It's going to be tight here in Wisconsin. It's going to be tight all across the country. And it's going to be tight because a lot of Americans are still struggling. You know, as a country, we've been through a lot over the last few years. We forget sometimes. We, a historic pandemic wrecked havoc on communities, on families, on businesses. And then disruptions from the pandemic caused price hikes. It put a strain on family budgets. And people started feeling like no matter how hard they worked, they were just treading water. So I understand why folks are looking to shake things up. I, I, I get it. What I cannot understand is why anybody would think that Donald Trump will shake things up in a way that's good for you. And I've noticed this especially with some men who think Trump's behavior is somehow a sign of strength. You never apologize for anything. You're not accountable for anything. 
I'm, I'm here to tell you that's not what real strength is. Never has been. Real strength is about working hard. Real strength is about taking responsibility for your actions. Real strength is about telling the truth even when it's inconvenient. Real strength is about helping people who need it and standing up for those who can't stand up for themselves. That's what we should want for our daughters and our sons. Do not sit back and hope for the best. Do not think this is a distraction or a joke. Get off your couch and do what? Put down your phones and do what? Vote for Kamala Harris as the next President of the United States. Vote for Tim Walls as the next Vice President of the United States. Vote for Tammy Baldwin and this whole incredible Wisconsin Democratic ticket. Get your family and friends and neighbors and co-workers to do the same. If enough voices are heard, we'll leave no doubt about the outcome of this election. We will leave no doubt about who we are. We'll send a message about what America stands for.